how to create a quick selection of different style designs in Photoshop. Should work with most versions of Photoshop. Key tool, polygon tool in the tool panel. Select that. Go to the Windows menu and display the layers panel. Also, what you can do is go to View menu and New Guide Layout and 2 and 2 for the columns and rows. Just makes it easier just to find a center point for your stars. You don't have to do this, you could create stars that are more random if you wish. I'm using the shape option and I'm also using black as the fill color. And what you can do, you've got options up there. You've got sides as well as you click that little gear box, the settings, you can see stars. That's the key thing, stars. And what you can do, you can vary the indent option and also a couple of other ones as well, like smooth. But I'll show you those in this video. Personally, the easiest way to create all the stars is the four setting. Obviously, you can create all kinds of different stars using the eight or 10 or 15, or whatever. But if you want to create slightly more unusual stars, you can very easily use the four option and simply just go over the design and just add a four side star and just change the angle, change the, the actual size of it each time. And you see what happens. You've got three layers there. You can go down to the layer menu, combine shapes, and unite them all into a single shape. What you can then do is go to merge shape components. So they all become one complete shape. Go to edit menu, define custom shape, and you can see you've got your custom shape added there. And now it's stored away in the presets, custom shape presets. So you can create another one. Then just drag out and it doesn't have to be uniform. It doesn't have to be at 45 degrees or whatever. You can set it at 35 degrees and you can create a variety of different designs simply by dragging out and then just rotating the shape in different places. And again, apply 10 layers, just build up multiple designs and you get your star design there. You've now got five layers. What you can do, you can bring them all together via the layer menu. Combine shapes and unite. And again, go up to the middle part there and select merge shape components. Once you've done that, go to edit menu and define custom shape. You don't need the define custom shape part, but it's a nice way of storing it away for future use. So you can create a large library of different shape designs, all star themed. And also what you can do, you can set smooth corners. You can see the smooth corners design. Now it doesn't particularly look like a star, but it still can be created into star designs more rounded star design. And again, you can do exactly the same, just drag out and create all kinds of different star designs by increasing the length of the drag as well as the angle. And of course, you don't have to always add it exactly to the center. Select both those shapes, go to layer menu, combine shapes and unite again and do exactly the same as before, merge shape components. And again, go over to the edit menu and Define custom shape. It's a vector layer. So what you can do with those vectors is you can also use things like the direct selection tool or maybe use the curvature tool to modify the shapes. If you want to add some variation into it, you can do that as well. You also set smooth indents. And you can also vary the number of sides. You don't have to use four, but I find four is the most useful. Sadly, you can't use two. It would be nice if two was available. Three is the lowest you can go. So you've got the smooth identity there and you can drag that and you can see your design. And again, you can then just move, rotate slightly, maybe extend further, maybe not. And you can go all the way around and create some very interesting designs just simply by doing that. And with those three shapes, again, you can do exact same as before, layer menu, and you can unite them and then you can also use the merge feature. 
Now, of course, if you don't want to use them as shapes, well, you can do, of course, I'm using the shape option in the top left, but you could use pixels. Don't have to use shape. I'm defining them as custom shape, but of course, if you use them just as pixels, they're just gonna be on that layer, the current layer. They're not gonna be vectors. You can create some very interesting colorful designs using pixel option as well. Perfectly reasonable. You can also vary the indent. So you can lower it, so then it will end up more like that. That's still a pretty good star design. And of course you can vary it. Don't have to create the next one with the same ident. You can increase it. Maybe make it 70 or 80. Make it a lot sharper. And again, you could vary the number of sides as well. You can just extend out then and again rotate. So you've got your star design there and again select both. Once you've done that, go to the layer menu and combine shapes and unite. You can see a pattern here. There's merge. And then once you've done that, create it as a custom shape. And again, it just stored away in the custom shapes presets. So you can always go back to them at a later point and apply them in different colors. It doesn't have to be black. It could be green, blue, yellow, whatever. And you can combine green and blue shapes and so on and so on. The key thing is the polygon tool. That's always the key thing, the polygon. And then just drag out there. And again, just vary the size, vary the angle. And of course, if you don't want to create custom shapes, you don't have to, you can change the color. So you've got two vector designs there, obviously using the same star but slightly shifted and slightly rotated you can group them there you can go down to layer menu smart objects and convert into a smart object so you've got your star design and you can of course add that to the cc library and then you use that in future projects as well and it's still a vector design so it can be any size you can also hold down the alt option and duplicate and you can also rotate and scale that and of course, what you can do, you can then add two or three of those together. So maybe right, three or four of them, put them on top of each other, resize them, rotate them, and you can build up quite a complex design. You can also double click on the Smart Objects thumbnail, and you can edit the design. So again, Polygon Tool. And you can maybe add another star into there or change the color. I'll make it five or six. Sadly, it's not an interactive design, so you can't modify the actual star you've got. You can always delete it and then add a new design instead. So just add in another star design there. And of course, at the moment, it's got the color yellow, same color as before, but I could change it to red. Now, once I close that document, all of the stars that use that design will be updated as well. And what you can do, you can select one or two of the shapes and maybe apply effects to them. You don't have to keep it as that, but you can also just select one of them, maybe apply a blurring effect or some other effect. I would apply the oil paint, but sadly, for some weird reason, oil paint is no longer available. So you can convert it to a smart object. So it's a smart object instead of a shape now, because I've added an effect to it. And you can, of course, apply a blur. Click OK. So you've got that design there. Close the document. And all the stars will be updated now with that design. Of course, it's not a custom shape. But you might not always want custom shapes. You just want to create unique, unusual stars. That's a way of doing it, to create a very... And of course, what you can also do, you can also add layer effects to them. You can add, of course, effects to it as well. Smart filters, they are smart objects. So you can add that. And also you can recolor it using adjustments.
Taking another start. It's applied again using the fill of black. And you can go up to the side setting, modify that. You can just drag that to change or increase it. And you can create very intense stars. Create abstract stars as well. And apply it two or three times. Maybe increase it again, like I say, rotate it slightly. So it's a more, it's a rougher star than perhaps the earlier ones. And of course, what you can also do, you can maybe add additional shapes. You don't have to always add star shapes. You could maybe go and add a circle in the center. So you can group them all, go to layer menu, combine shapes and unite again. So all united. Merge. And now, of course, what you can do, you can always quickly add it to the edit and find custom shape. But again, like I said, what you can do, you can edit all the points. You can use a direct section tool and modify the points if you want to tweak some of the elements of the star. And you can also add, just simply go over to the polygon tool, maybe change the color. Obviously black is not gonna good if I'm gonna use black stroke. So just increase the size of it so you can see, oop, too far. I'm gonna reduce that a bit so you can, so you can create some very dramatic, intense, near enough lightning, explosive kind of star designs simply by adding a stroke to the star. It's a very far more dramatic design with stroke, I think. And also what you can also do, of course, you can go to layer menu, layer style, and you can go to drop shadow and add a subtle drop shadow. Maybe add a bevel, maybe add a gradient overlay. Gradient overlay, of course, just a white and gray in this case. But of course, there's a vast number of swatches available for gradients, so you can select the colors from there, so you can create a very colorful star, and maybe use different types. So if linear or whatever, you can use radial, etc. Click OK. So you've got your design there and you can duplicate that design, add it to your library, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Please add some comments, always appreciated. Dislike or like. Thank you much.